Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot and this is your daily reading for Thursday, October 21st, 2021. If you are new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. Well, let's get right into your reading for the day ahead. Hopefully everyone has survived the full moon energy. It's probably still around you. And uh, I do know from a, a couple of people in my life, they're like, when is this gonna end? And uh, so the next couple of days, you should feel that energy kind of getting just a little bit calmer there for you. But hopefully this kick-started something within you, just give you that little bit of oomph that you may need for, uh, you know, to get things going, get something done for yourself. So the first card out we've got for you is joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. Yes, indeedy. When we are looking for the positive in things, when we have that positive mindset, when we find the blessings in our life, things really do start to happen for us a little bit better. Um, in my day job, which this is not, <laughs> unfortunately, um, in my day job, I have a couple of assistants that uh, that work with me in my department. And uh, anyways, and one of them, she uh, she has started, uh, we've had some, you know, little chats here and there. And I mean, I'm, I'm her boss, so I can, really can't, you know, do readings and things like that. It's really not professional. But anyway, um, she, uh, you know, she, something has sparked in her with this full moon and she has, you know, decided she needs to actively change her mindset. And because she's a, well, she's a Scorpio, so she's a little bit, uh, a little bit dark and mysterious anyway. Um, she has started writing down, um, she started with five things to be grateful for every day. And she was struggling with it and she was just telling me about it yesterday and, you know, just kind of a little bit of uh, casual chit chat and, uh, you know, and she was just saying that she's finding it really hard. And I said, well, five is too many. Try three because three is a little bit easier to wrap your head around. Right. And especially if you're trying to do something every day to kind of change your mindset. Right. Five is a big number. Also, five in numerology, five. Uh, five is the card of challenges and obstacles. It also is the one of change. So I just suggested maybe try three and all of a sudden just something clicked in her a little bit better. And she's had a hard life and whatever. I won't go into her history, but she is actively trying to find the joy and the happiness and the positive things in her life each and every day. Not because she doesn't have negative things that go on because she wants to focus on that positive. She wants to focus on finding the joy in the little things and it's a fabulous thing to embrace and <clears throat> you know it's um it's like a big shift in energy for her so great things start to happen and she's already seen it she's only been doing it for a few days but she's already seeing the results of it so find the joy open your heart be grateful for the smallest little things in your life right did a ladybug land on your car be thankful for it actually they're lady beetle apparently but uh, they're lucky right you know did uh you know did someone smile at you today great wonderful clearly there's something about your energy that they enjoyed or maybe you caught their eye so it is changes our mindset when we focus on that joy on that positivity even if it's just something super super small and it just opens our horizons <clears throat> excuse me so we also have narrow pathway coming in here and it says tread thoughtfully so we can understand this particular energy in a few different ways and when we tread thoughtfully this really means that maybe you are in a situation where you have to stay on the straight and narrow, so to speak. And it's maybe a bit of a precarious situation. I mean, in this particular card, we've got this scary looking uh, suspension bridge up there. It was a bottomless pit, right? And if you've ever been across a suspension bridge, I mean, they're all fine and diddly dandy until someone decides to be a little bit of a so-and-so and shake the damn thing, right? <clears throat> and that gives you that feeling of, right? Your stomach kind of does flip-flops. So you may be finding yourself in a situation where you kind of need to keep on the straight and narrow. 
And it could be a workplace situation. It could be something at home. And maybe it's something like just to protect your energy a little bit. And it's just a little bit of caution may be required, right? Maybe you just need to keep to yourself or just, you know, make sure you have your ducks in a row if there's a situation that is uh, unfolding in your life that is just giving you that little bit of, hmm, I think I need to watch my step here. And this may also be a situation for you where slow and steady wins the race. And in this age of instant gratification and the fear of missing out and you know, keeping up with the Joneses and everyone's got these things on Instagram and their Facebook and their lives look absolutely perfect, don't they? Yeah, no, I guarantee you they're not. And uh, so, you know, just if you're working on something, even if you're just working on yourself, right, whatever you happen to be uh, doing at this time, take your time. Uh, think twice. Uh, don't be reactive. Don't be impulsive. And there's a time and a place for those uh, for those energies, but net today may not necessarily be that day, right? You might just need to make sure you've got all of your little ducks in a row. So let's see what we've got coming out here for you. Okay, well, we've got all four. That's fine. How am I receiving? Okay. So today's current situation, we have the six of autumn. Ah incoming energy for you today we've got the wheel well would you look at that and not really surprised since we do actually have a uh, jupiter uh playing around up there advice from spirit we've got the sun beautiful and oh, lovely we have the ten of autumn coming out as your overall outcome for the day Ten of, uh, ten of Autumn is the Ten of Pentacles. The Autumn Suits in this particular deck is the Pentacles. And of course, we've got the Major Arcana there and <laughs> love it. The, un the card at the bottom of the deck, the underlying energy influencing your day is the Emperor. So there's that Aries, Mars energy with that moon that is still around you. And when we have the Emperor, this is all about your control, your power, your authority. It is also one of you taking your time, treading thoughtfully, making sure that you know what you're doing every single step of the way, having a, a, plat a, a platagy, a plan or a strategy in place and sticking to it to follow your path to success. This is also about following your passion, getting something off the ground. All right, so this is kind of that underlying influence, so that moon energy that is still around for us, just like we thought, right? So this is really your time to find your path to success. So current situation, current energy, we've got the Six of Autumn, and I love the Six of Autumn. It's the Six of Pentacles card. So you may have already experienced some good news coming in. Maybe you've gotten an opportunity that landed in your lap. Perhaps if you're looking for a job or maybe to increase your financial situation in some way, maybe you were just either looking for the right opportunity, the right moment, or you're just kind of hoping that your good luck is going to change. And of course, we do have the Wheel of Fortune coming in, so uh, you may really be on the right wavelength there. Okay, so the Six of Autumn really does show a situation where you may get an unexpected lucky break in regards to your money, okay, in regards to your financial situation. So you may have already received something or this is coming in for you. This is what you're attracting into your life, all right? And this is something that is not necessarily a windfall per se. It could just be one of those little fortunate events. And it can be something as simple as, uh, you know, opening your phone bill or something and all of a sudden you find your rates have been reduced. Ha! Huh, how often does that happen? It does happen sometimes. Uh, you know, maybe you're, you know, maybe you got um, uh, a, I don't know, let's say you were waiting for some sort of rebate check or something like that to come in. Might not necessarily be a lot of money. And there it is. Uh, you could, uh, you know, win $5 on a scratch off ticket, something like that. All right. So those little, little lucky breaks that come in, those little, uh, little improvements, something just that kind of it's the right place at the right time. But this can also be about uh, your current situation in your work life, in your home life, even just within you, because the Six of Pentacles is about balance. 
equal investment um, by multiple parties. It can sometimes be a partner card of partnerships in your life, right? And it's everybody pulling their own weight. And so if you aren't currently in a situation where everybody has equal involvement, everyone, um, you know, is doing their fair share of the work or is equally invested in something, then this may be looking, this may be something that you are looking to change. It's also representative of the law of giving and receiving and a reminder that for everything that you put out, it uh, the universe sends it back to you multiplied. So for all the good that you put out in the world, good things are starting to flow back to you now as your, <clears throat> how should we say, as your reward, okay? And because it is that flow of energy in the universe. So, you know, if you always help people, right? We've got the emperor card can be an advice card sometimes. So it can be that you are the person that constantly gives people help and advice. And, you know, when we've got the six of pentacles, it's one of those things where you're always putting yourself out there. And now maybe you're in a situation, especially with this narrow pathway, where you might actually need a little bit of help. And it's there when you need it, because we have that flow of energy. Today's situation or challenge, the energy coming in here, we have the wheel. This is very nice. So if you've been feeling as though things haven't really been going your way or you just haven't been able to have that oomph we still have this aries energy uh with the moon energy influencing our situation we do have jupiter i forget where jupiter is anyway um jupiter is uh i think jupiter is in taurus anyway jupiter is the planet of luck and expansion all right and so when we have that wheel of fortune which by the way is ruled by jupiter all right we start to experience lucky breaks. We start to experience things going our way. We've got this shift of energy um, and this wheel is turning in your direction. Lady luck, good fortune, those you know unexpected surprises that, can, that come your way. And it's kind of like um, when we've got the wheel of fortune coming in here, I mean, the wheel does bring surprises. It does bring a new positive cycle coming into your life. And it does bring some really positive energy that is coming in here today. But it's a reminder that we do need to continue to focus on the positive. Be thankful for the little things in our lives. Keep our vibration high because we don't want this wheel, right? Think of a wheel, right? You're going down a hill. Great. But then all of a sudden you might hit that you know that bottom thing and go uphill again right which we don't want that wheel turning in the wrong way so we do want to try and continue to make strides forward to uh, maintain a positive mindset and to be thankful for things in our life to focus on solutions and not problems right because the wheel does bring surprises but it brings surprises of all kinds so if we start to kind of slide back in our energy, we doubt ourselves, we focus on problems, we go down into a little rabbit hole of negativity, and we engage in all these low vibe kind of energies, then that wheel brings us surprises that we don't care for. So joy and delight, right? Keep your wits about you. Take your time, one foot in front of the other. Things will work out in your favor. And you know, that wheel, that is destiny meets synchronicity, right? Moving forward on the path that you're absolutely meant to be on. Sometimes we are meant to go a little bit slower. Sometimes we're meant to go a little bit faster. So this is, you know, a little bit of good luck, good fortune coming in here. And again, that reminder with that joy and delight, find the value and find the little things in your life to be grateful for. And we'll keep that wheel moving in the right direction for you. Your advice from spirit, we have the sun. The sun is that reminder as advice to have the positive mindset, okay? Um, and I think, you know what, honestly, I think this is coming out here um, as advice for today because the moon energy that we do have going on, and of course the emperor card at the bottom of the deck really does show that, is because yes, the the fiery energy is overwhelmingly positive, but it's also kind of freaky. And there are a lot of relationship things that come bubbling up to the surface. And because when, when whenever we have expansion growth, whenever we've got that powerful firepower, 
<clears throat> it can quickly escalate and get out of control, right? And we can have volatile situations sometimes, especially Mars, right? It's warrior combative energy. So I think we're getting this advice here from spirit to focus on the positive, to find the joy in things, to take things slowly, to ground your energy even for a reason, right? Because otherwise we can really get carried away with this strong energy that is around us for today. So with the sun card, this is that advice to remind you to focus on the positive. This is your time of expansion and growth. This is reminding you that you can succeed in whatever it is that you put your energy towards. And we only want to put our energy and our thoughts and ideas towards the things that we want in our life, right? Law of attraction, okay? And so this is the reminder that whatever you've got going on, things are going to work out exactly the way they are supposed to for you. I mean, we've got five cards out and three of them are major arcana. And who does not want the sun and the wheel of fortune all in one reading? I do, me, not to mention the emperor bringing you that success. All right, so focus on that positive. Focus on what makes you happy. If you're in a situation where you're not happy right now, perhaps now is the time with the six of pentacles in the wheel. Now is that time to explore your options and expand your horizons a little bit with this expansive Jupiter energy, right? It is that planet of expansion, good fortune, good luck. All right, also one of sudden unexpected change sometimes too, right? So that wheel does bring in the, that little bit of sudden unexpected change for you and in the upright very positive all right so we do want to focus on that and you know you keep plugging away through your day you focus on that positive you uh find something that you want to create right the sun uh, can be about uh not necessarily creation itself although it can um is more about nurturing and blossoming and having that positivity maybe even focusing on family and relationships as well when we've got the sun but the Ten of Pentacles or the Ten of Autumn in this deck also is about focus on family and wherever it is that you feel secure. And this is a I got this kind of energy. I've accomplished what I wanted to accomplish today. I'm feeling good about things. I'm on the right path to success. I know that I'm going to be successful. Some of you are even you know, wrapping something up today and this ten of, uh, 10 of Pentacles shows that you've wrapped it up, you've completed it, and you're enjoying the fruits of your labor. And uh, it's really very wonderful energy. So even if you don't finish or complete something today, okay, this is where you're headed. This Ten of Autumn, the Ten of Pentacles, the big one, the big time, something that you can really be proud of, something that brings you success. And, you know, of course, um, is that uh, family uh, family success too. The Ten of Pentacles is quite often related to um, uh, not just success in your, you know, in your career or, you know, in any area of your life, anything that is of value to you, okay? Even if it's just the energy of feeling successful, but the Ten of Pentacles is about all the people in your life having, you know, being all uh, okay and feeling as though you can take care of everybody around you in a positive way without without it being one-sided because we've got that six of pentacles here balanced energy so it can be one of those one of those days where everything just seems to go your way the wheel of fortune right you're driving to work every single traffic light turns green um you know you uh, you find the fastest uh, the fastest uh, row in the checkout uh, at the checkout uh, aisle at the grocery store um, you get home right with the family family energy there with the ten of autumn and if you've got kids or something, right, uh, we've got that uh, six of pentacles, that balance, that fairness that's coming there. And maybe you get home and all of a sudden your kids have already done all their chores or dinner's made or, you know, all of these things. And you're like, whoa, well, that's a first. That doesn't happen very often. So the ten of pentacles says, enjoy all of your successes today, big or small, because this is a card of accomplishment in your physical earthly world. All right. So wonderful, wonderful energy. I'm going to leave that there for you guys because I think I've probably rattled on a little bit. Uh, woo. Okay. Hello. Um, <laughs> a little bit long, but let's just get a couple last cards here for you. This is the angel answers deck. So um, apparently that one's like, hello, pick me, pick me. And as is this one. So 
All right, so let's just see what this explosive one was about, shall we? <laughs> opportunity, look at you. The doors of opportunity are opening for you. Abundance is flowing your way. This is your time to shine, to get things off the ground, to get things wrapped up. This is your time where opportunities open up for you, right? The wheel energy where you can be successful and you can find your happiness, right? Where you can come out on top, the Ten of Pentacles, stick to your guns, follow your path, right? If you've got, uh, if you've got a strategy in place, right? Use logic, intellect, and perfect planning, okay? But also be adaptable where you need to be adaptable, all right? So this is beautiful energy flowing, the doors of opportunity. And again, you know, we've just, we still have this moon energy coming around his us here, right? It'll last for, uh, usually lasts about 48 hours before and after that moon. So, and we also have peaceful resolution. All right. So if there's been something within you or externally in your world, all right, by treading on that narrow pathway, by uh, embracing that joy and delight, focusing on the positive and never on the negative, we end up with this joy and this peaceful resolution that's coming in. And this is something that's maybe been going on for a while and things just might go your way. You might have a conversation with somebody today, right? An advice card with the emperor comes out sometimes as advice. So maybe there's someone around you that you can ask for some sort of advice in order to get some sort of resolution. This can also just be you finding your balance and finding your peace within. And just like the joy and delight card there, right? When we focus on the positive things, big, small, um, even we can even focus on, uh, we can even be thankful and grateful um, for challenges that we have overcome. And we quite often look at challenges in a negative light, but sometimes those obstacles, those blocks in our pathway are put there for a reason, there to teach us something. And we wouldn't be the humans that we are today if we didn't have those experiences before. So this can be you finding your inner peace as well as finding some sort of peace in a situation that is around you. So it is wonderful, positive energy that is here for you guys today. So I'm going to leave that there. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Hopefully there was something in this reading that resonated with you in some way. If there was, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys so very much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.